Lord, lift up those hands. Lift up those hands now. I agree with the heaven in the name of the risen Christ that anything negative that is following you or following your family from last year, from our previous years, loses your contact now. It loses your contact now. I declare you are detached. And as you get detached, may you be accelerated to move forward. Move with the speed of God. Move with the speed of God. Move with the speed of God. In the name of Jesus, the challenges of last year, the problems of last year, the struggles of last year, the predicaments of last year, are not permitted to repeat themselves this year. In the name of Jesus, victory is yours. You are breaking forth. You are breaking forth. You are breaking forth. So shall it be. Please take your seat. Forceful separation from the usual so that you can be released to move forward. Yes. He says you shall break forth. You shall break forth. Remember, breaking forth, we don't have time to explain many things today, but breaking forth is really different from breaking through. There are two different things. It doesn't mean the same thing. There is more weight in breaking forth than breaking through. Yes. Two things happening at the same time. You are not only moving forward, you are also being separated from the normal, from the usual. Number two, breaking forth is a forceful advancement in a positive direction. For positive advancement. Advancement is a military term. It means conquering the enemy and taking new places. To advance means to move where the enemy is displace the enemy and move so this year I don't see your feet moving in the wrong direction yes the Lord will order your steps whether in big matters or small matters God will order your steps it is written that the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. The Lord will order your steps this year. You will not miss the way. Oh, I said you will not miss the way. God will order your steps. Even in small things, God will order your steps. The steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. A de delighted in his way. God is excited when he orders your steps. Yes. Look. This year, you will not just be moving forward. You will be moving forward objectively. Yes. Look at what this can bring back our scripture there. Look at what the scripture is saying. For thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left you will not go in circles <laughs> hey you will not go in circles yes that's what it means to the right and to the left you will not be moving you will not just be moving without results you will be moving and you can show the distance you are covering. I decree in the name of Jesus, 2023, you cannot move in circles. 
Yes. Yaani watu wanaona una move lakini unaenda unarudi mahali ulikuwa. That's the problem with moving in circles. Unaenda watu wanaona unaenda tu. Watu wanaona unasafiri hata kusweti una sweat. Lakini unaenda unarudi. Yaani unakuwa kama saa. Ulikuwa six jioni unarudi hapo jioni tena. That will not be you. You will advance to the left and advance to the right. There are no aimless movement this year. In fact, you should make a choice. I will only go where I have something to do. Yes. Mwaka huu hakuna hata kutembelea watu ovyo ovyo. Hapo mlipaswa kupiga makofi. Hakuna kutembea there is no time for that you are advancing to the right and to the it is objective it is not just movement angalia mtu muambie usikuje kwangu kama una jambo ya kufanya mwaka huu hakuna ataniona nije tu nikusalimie Salamu. Mwaka huu ninaposimama hapa nimefunga gate zako against those who are not coming to contribute. Mwana ni encourage this morning. This year I preach oh. Even the devil is aware. This year, even if there are no people, we will preach to trees. Are you getting it? It is an objective advancement. Any advancement that is not objective doesn't bear fruit. It just becomes a movement. So we are not making movements this year. We are making objective movements. Yes. Now. When God talks of breaking forth. Now, to memorize na manene and kujaribu define. Si kumaliza na kwa sasa. Kwa sasa tu. Sasa nataka ni kuonyeshe. Vitu vitatu ambavyo Mungu anamaanisha anaposema breaking forth. Remember, I told you a theme is a big picture captured in a sentence of few words. So that is to say it means something. That is why it is being explained. It has many meanings. Hao wanapiga magere wanapaswa kuka kwa church yao. How comes they are here? For thou shalt break forth on the right hand and on the left. You break forth on the right hand and on the left. When God talks of breaking forth it means literally expansion. Expansion. Uta expand. Yes. Kama uko chini ya neema hii, lazima uta expand. Wanabiashara amuwezi endelea kuwa na kachanel kamoja hivi tu. Lazima mpanuke, lazima mu expand. If it is breaking forth to the right and to the left it means expansion it means enlargement it means god giving you more space it means the old boundary being removed so that you can go further so i come to you as the voice of jehovah in the name of jesus 
what you are doing 2023 will go further your business will go further your career must go further to the right and to the left look at exodus 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 34 and verse 24 Okay, let's read this. One, two, go. Waja kidogo. Unajua kwa nini mesema hiyo? Kwa sababu, ni mepata ka message hapo. Kwa hiyo sentence ya kwanza. Nafikiria, nitaka ubiri siku ingine. Something must go out so that you can get in. Jay. For I will cast out the nations before thee. Then I will enlarge your borders. <laughs> what is enlarging your borders? Declaring that mali uliku na malizia, auta malizia hapo, utaenda father. Auta malizia mali umeku ki malizia. God will enlarge your borders. Neither shall any man desire thy land. Look at that. Yani mungu mpaka anaua desire za watu kuchukua vitu zako. You are not seeing. No shall any man desire thy land. When thou shalt go up to appear before the Lord. That is to say, when you go to church, Nobody is left desiring to steal in your house. Do you believe these things? Yes. There is a testimony I was given by one of our pastors. And I was very blessed by that testimony. He said somebody entered in the church compound. And he was coming to steal. Akaingia kwa compound. Akapata kanyumba ka Sunday school. Siju ni ka Sunday school. Kanyumba we compound ya church. Akalala. Alikuto asubui. That is your testimony. Anybody that desires to steal in your house. You will meet them asleep in your house. You believe what I'm saying? Yes. It really blessed me. And then the same pastor told me another day a thief came and got into the compound. Instead of stealing, he was met going around inspecting. Alingia saatisa sakumi ambiri bandu alikuwa na inspect. This our God, eh? It's real. And you see, all these testimonies, these guys are coming here, they are collecting them, they go with them. And you, you live here. Hey. Lift up your hand and say, 2023, I will expand. I'll get more space. Yes. Expansion means more space. More space for your destiny. Remember, without more space, there can be more, there cannot be more fruitfulness. The larger the space, the greater the fruit. Can I show you something? Genesis 26. Genesis 26 and verse 22. this is a story of Isaac can I, can I tell you before we read mwaka hu any competitor will not be able to catch up with you some of these things are not just good statements please remember I'm not a motivational speaker I'm a prophet 
Nobody will compete with you this year and succeed. Even if it's your boss, he will succeed. Lift up your hand and say 2023. Nothing and no one will compete with me and succeed in Jesus name. Give Jesus a clap of praise if you believe that. Let me say it again. 2023. No competition will succeed against you. Your competitors will salute you. And remove from thence and dig another word. And for that they strove not. They remember, they fought for the first one, they fought for the second one. God took him to a place. He was doing the same thing, he was digging the well. They took the first one. Wakai Pigania. Wakasema inietu. Can you imagine? Unakuja una labor, unapata resort. Mtu mungini ambaye ata ata akuwa area, anakuja anasema ni yangu. Hakuwa ukichimba. Anakuja tu, wakati anaona resort zimetokea, anakuja anachukua. Iyo haita kuwa ushunda wako mwaka huu. Auta sweat kwa sababu ya wengine. And whoever want to eat your sweat will eat poison. And he called the name of it Reoboth. Mwaka huu kila mtu atakuwa na Reoboth yake. Reoboth. And he said, for now the Lord had made room. Do you know what that means? The Lord has given us enough space. Here we can prosper. Here there is no competition. Here we can flourish. Here we will get more results. Here we will get promotion without people opposing us. We shall be fruitful in the land. Somebody shout real above. So 2023, you must have your real birth. The place where you are not squeezed. The place where you are not restrained. The place where you can, you can, you can relax and bear enough fruits. Am I talking to the right people? Walipigania ya kwanza wakachukua. Thank God. Awaku uchukua. Nikitu walichukua. Awaku uchukua. Wakachukua ya kwanza, wakachukua ya pili, ya tatu mungu hata wakubalia wachukue. Walifunga ya kwanza, wakafunga ya pili, ya tatu mungu hata kubali wafunge. Akafika mahali ya kasema sasa, tutafanikiwa kwa sababu mungu hapa, aja tupatia tu rest, ame tupatia space. May God give your career space. May God give your business space. I speak to the place where you live. If you live in Kobo or wherever you live, I speak to the place where you live to create space for you. Space for you. Space for you. Space in a higher office. Space in a greater office. May you receive greater space. The Lord has men room. God has men room. Can you give us message Bible? Let's see how message is putting it. Oh, I feel good this morning. Yeah. 22, not 19. Oh, ina kaga hivi. Wacha tuachana na hayo tu. Kwa sababu hii sasa tutaisoma anje. Why then, Kidogo? Can you do that, Hirim? Watch out to the end of one day because I'll be on 19. Natafuta. Natafuta 22. Yes. He went on from there and dug yet 
another well. But there was no fighting over this one. Can somebody say an amen for that? This blessing that is coming this year, nobody will be fighting for it. Yes. But there was no fighting over this one. So he named it the above. Wide open spaces. God. Nisikia tu kwa masikio mimi nikasikia ninafikiria nikasikia tu more spaces more space more space kumbe iko kwa bible wide open spaces saying now god has given us plenty of space to spread out in the land that is you isaac is dead that is for you you will spread in the land. Now I speak to Ngobo to create space for you. I speak to that institution to create more space for you. Everywhere you turn to this year will respond to the demands of that word. More space for you. Open space for you. Greater space for you. In the name of Jesus. We are not talking about ground. We are talking of positions. Yes. Kuna watu wamekaa hapa na kwa sababu wanaamini haka kamtu kadogo ni na watangazia. Kapura mwaka huwa ujaisha. Utakuwa na two, three channels zinaleta pesa kwa maisha yako. Kwa sababu mungu watakupatia spesi hii inaleta kitu. Spesi hii inaleta kitu. Spesi hii inakuletea kitu ingine. I declare one open spaces for you. Please sit down. Yes. It's expansion. When God says breaking forth. It is not just a sentence as, as it looks. There is more in it. There is a lot of wealth in that statement. It's a big picture that is captured in a sentence. Yes. It's expansion. You break forth to the right. And break forth to the left. It is expansion. It is enlargement. It is God giving you more space. Yes. At our I want to retire. You are not staying in the house this year. Retire does not mean you have expired. Am I saying something? Yes. The retired of this house will be sought after. Murimisi amukushika. You see Old wine, do you not have to wasana? Sasa mtu akiritaya ni old wine. Kwa sababu akona experience. Anajua vitu ambazo inabidi wende shure ndiyo ujue. Na ye akonayo kwa mkono. So in this church, eh? There is no expiring. Sasa, retirees of this church from next month next month is which month go out and look for a job you can't stay in the house you are too powerful to stay in the house where will you take that energy it's not supposed to stay in your house lebo angalia kama kuna mtu anakaa ku retire karibu na wewe ama ame retire ama anakaribia ku retire Mwambie mwaka huu uwezi kwa nyumba You have retired but you have not expired <laughs> Yes Yes she is reminding me a movie we were watching the other day inaitwa Red 
Every believer should watch that movie. It's called Red. Retired and extremely dangerous. I want to be defined like that when I retire. Ya nide mapepo inaskuma wale vijana ninaletewa. Because I'm retired and very dangerous. <laughs> Number two. What is God saying? What is God saying? Can somebody say more space for me 2023? To Jaribu tena more space for me 2023. To say me now louder than last time more space for me 2023. Lift up your hand. Say Lord Jesus by your word I claim more space more position more channels for me 2023 can I give you 30 seconds to make that prayer more space open wide space Lord give me more space in that school give me more space in that company give me more space there are spaces in that company give me more space give me more space give me my real above yakamanas yaketele bokosata rata kamana makoya sopa yes lord more space more space more space more space lord give me more space lord give me more space more space more space for me more space for me Ekele boho satada Lakata para toka tu Jikiti kiti kiti biya sabada Ende bogo satapa More space More space for me More space for me More space for me More space More space More space in Gobo Give us more space Give us a space More space for us in Gobo as a church More space More space more space is somebody praying in here more space may god grant you more space more space more space in this institution in another institution in the other institution may god increase space for me that this year you get to a place whereby the opportunities will be so many you will be choosing which one wide open more spaces wide open spaces now God has given us plenty of space to spread out spread out I'll be talking to you this later but let me mention it just by the way that in order for this to happen you must build capacity does he not build capacity who waste people's time does he not waste capacity who waste resources that God Mungu akikufungulia hapa na kufungulia hapa na kufungulia hivi kwamba una jobs una jobs kama tano in a week you will not waste time Yes you will be productive with excellence People will not be left saying why did we give this to him We we wish we would have given somebody else Sasa lazima ubeund capacity. Yes. Ubeund capacity. Unaitwa na hii kampuni, kampuni na kuita na hii na kuita na zote they are looking for one to have you again. 
because you have built capacity and you have you have not only given them results you have given them results with excellence not just results many people are producing results but results combined with excellence is rare And especially in Meru, we have a problem with that. Yes, in Meru, we don't care about excellence. Because excellence distinguishes you. We can be all dressed. Maybe with the same kind of dressing. But excellence will bring the distinction. You can be dressed but not excellently. Dress is not only for covering nakedness. It's for speaking excellence. Angalia mwenza kwa mwambie mwaka huu nina kuangalia vile unavaa. Wewe Uwezi kuvaa hivi mpaka watu wanakususpect. Yaani vile unavaa wanasema huyu naweza kuwa ni jabazi. <laughs> Angalia mtu mwambie mwaka huu even dressing is important. Tumekubaliwa kukumbushana Kwa hii Ukikutana na mtu barabarani Amevaa kivingine Muulize ala umesahau Una, Unakumbuka vile tuliambiwa You are resort this year Means to be in whatever you do Whatever you do they need to be so excellent that they speak before you speak. Yani unafanya kazi mpaka hiyo kazi inaongea kabla hujaongea. Kama unafanyia watu computer work, unaitoa hivi kwamba kabla hujaongea, kabla hujasema uniletee kazi nyingine, ameamua orendi kwa sababu kazi yako imeongea. kurushanishia watu tu sini photocopy ulikuwa unataka ndio hiyo na akiangalia anashangaa kama ni photocopy ama ni ndaki copy <laughs> excellence when you look around here can you see excellence yes we don't just do, we don't want just to be a church we want to be an excellent church and it be, you are the first you are the church before we go to chairs in the background you are the church dugu unava tu vizuri Mwezi kuva kishati kimeandikwa hapa TNA alafu kimesag alafu 
Alafu unasema tumeosho kwa ndamu. <laughs> Kuna mtu tunasaidia. Yes, God is saying number two, God is talking of new territories. Yes, new territories. I thought wana biashara wange shout hapo kwa sababu new places for business are coming. You will do business in new places where you have not done before. Yes. 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 Yes, new territories. Yes. New territories. you have done business but there are new places that can bring more for your business yes. I know Mr. Preacher I know you have preached in many places there are yet more places for you to preach yes. I know your career has served in many places but there are yet other many places new places that your career needs to serve new territories but look at look at this bring back our scripture for thou shalt break forth on the right and and on the left and thy seed shall inherit the gentiles and make desolate cities to be inhabited where there are no people people will come because of you Places that are empty will be filled because of you. Desolate places will be inhabited because of your breaking forth. New territories. Somebody say new territories for me. 2023. One more time. New territories for me. 2023. It is possible. It is possible. Can I speak to your feet? Your feet will step in new places this year. I said your, your feet will step in new places. New territories. New grounds. You must go to new places. You must acquire new places. You must have new opportunities. Your feet must take you to new places. You believe that? Yes. That's why it is in your best interest to build capacity. Don't depend on your past abilities. Atakami itabindi kurundi shule part time. To build capacity. Don't depend on the past. Yes. You see, we don't go to school for papers. We go to school to build capacity. If you just go to school for paper or to just get employed, you are very limited. You need to be so built up when they bring a problem to you. Before they turn to go, you have the answer. Look, if you are on demand, even your enemies will need you. Oh. Am I saying something? Yes. Now we're too in demand, Yaugwevi. See what what was a mange to ah to tamuita see the yakomzuri ni vile atuna otanati. That is not a good testimony. They should look for you. They say, who you atumujui sana, but he is the best. He handled this case excellently, and on this other case excellently, and now we have confident in giving him our case. Those of you who are who are into food industry, 
kupika chakula tu mpaka wale watakula hawatakubali kukula mahali pengine Simuseme amen hapo Yes Those of you who are serving in hospitality you serve until watu wanakuuliza ulienda shule wapi Those of you who are teachers you teach until parents are coming to bless you with the offering Teachers can be blessed teachers can be blessed by parents But the, the people don't bless others just because of results Your results must be different Yes One time Sarita talked to so much so much about our teacher Baka nikamtumia sandaka Vile Sarita ameongea juu ya mwalimu wake Na unajua watoto wataongea tu Never steal na watoto Watakusema asubuhi hata ukimwambia na usiongee wanapiga story wanasema na aliniambia tu nisiseme <laughs> atakusema tu that's why you need to treat children well yes even when you are disciplining them treat them correct yes kuna mtu ninasaidia si aseme amen yes I believe somebody is getting blessed in here today. Yes, new territories for you. Yes. Lift up your hand. Say Lord Jesus, open up new territories for me. Tujaribu tena Lord Jesus 2023. Open up new territories for me. Convert it into prayer now. Make it a prayer. Make it a prayer new territories. That institution and that institution and that institution that school and that school and that school that hospital and the other hospital and the other hospital more territories new territories new territories make a shataparatos make it all shatapa is somebody bring in here new territories lord grant me new territories grant me new territories grant me new territories Mekete lobo kosotopo yakata pakataba enekete bekeso bekesoto sasa wekelea miguu yako mikono Saying the name of Jesus my feet are receiving the anointing for new territories tujaribu tena my feet are receiving the anointing to cross the borders to new territories sasa tabiria miguu yako ya kwamba itakupeleka to new places new places new places new places new schools new companies new hospitals new places your feet will take you to new places is somebody bring in here yagada bahasata Yekete po satapala bakadalaba. It is very important to follow instructions in church. We we are not just a random race choosing what to do. Mageda bakosa, oparadis, egresia, zakapara toza, igracia magamba la maha. My feet are anointed for new territories. My feet are anointed for new territories. Anointed for new territories. Anointed for new territories. Look, we will not be just confessing a statement. We will be confessing it with understanding. Yes. 
will not just be repeating we are breaking forth we are break when we say we are breaking forth we know exactly what we are talking about yes it's not just a confession let's not let us not stop at confession let's go beyond confession yes let us go beyond confession Now, we are going to make one prayer and close. Just a declaration of the theme that 2023, I must break forth. And in breaking forth, you know what you are talking about. You know you are talking about what? Eh? You are talking about expansion. New spaces. You are talking of new territories. Acquiring of new territories. God extending your borders. God taking you to new places. God giving you new frontiers. Gates for new places opening up for you. So, lift up your hand. So, in the name of Jesus, by faith and by the word of God and by the working of the Spirit, I break forth. I break forth. Nothing will stop me. Nothing will hinder me. Go ahead and make that confession. Declare it in the name of Jesus. I break forth. 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 I break forth in the name of Jesus. Jabra kata la baka sota la baka da la baha sata. Jeketeba sohosi ala bandis. Embele boko sata kapala ba. Shila bahandi abahandis. in my spirit we need to make a prayer it is good to flow lift up your hand say in the name of Jesus whatever is competing whatever is competing with the purposes of God with the purposes of God in my life in my life today today you are defeated you are defeated you come down you come down with the speed with the speed you are going down you are going down with the speed with the speed whatever is fighting whatever is fighting the will of God the will of God for my life for my life you are coming down you are coming down with the speed with the spin. Can you go ahead and make that prayer? You may, you may not know what you are praying about, but it is powerful. Whatever is fighting, whatever, no, 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 whatever is fighting the will of God concerning your life. Is going down with the speed. Is falling with the speed. Whatever is fighting. Whatever is competing. With the purposes of God. Concerning your life. Soon fall with the speed. Soon fall with the speed. Anything competing with the purposes of God for your life must fall with the speed. Thank you. Zakana Mahanda 
Satos Jekelko Sataba Yes, God is handling competitors now. God is dealing with whatever competition around your life. Any competition around your life. God is dealing with it now. Whatever is competing with God. Around your life, so that your potential is not producing as they should. That competitor is falling with the speed. That thing competing will fall with the speed. make this last prayer so in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus evil forces evil forces human forces human forces natural forces natural forces must give way must give way for my breaking fall for my breaking Let's say one more time in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The forces of darkness. The forces of darkness. The forces of nature. The forces the forces of men the forces of men must give way must give way for my breaking for for my breaking for to jaribu sasa mara ya mwisho in the name of jesus in the name of jesus the forces of darkness the forces of dark the forces of nature the forces of nature the forces of men the forces of men must give way must give way for my breaking for for my breaking for can you go ahead and make the prayer as we close Yes, those three forces. Those three forces are at work in life to hinder people. The forces of darkness, the forces of Satan, and his kingdom. And then the forces of nature and the forces of man must give way forces of men must give way forces of men must give way for my breaking forth Let's take our seats. Tokareni the I want to congratulate you. Kwenda goboshokere ankado for this season of fasting. Non toboa ke ingo kege ago shata. We all know. By the way, twin day toko menya. Wound harvest kobo. Wound harvest kobo. Welcome to 2023. Ibo karibi shimo akene jo 2023. The year of breaking forth. Mwaka jo agotonyo kanya. Amen. 
We shouldn't celebrate this year the way we are celebrating casually. It's a great year for us. Let's show God we are grateful and we are ready for it. Give him a clap of our hands and give him a shout. A shout of victory. Appreciation. Amen. Please take your seats. Yes. You are welcome to 2023. Amen. Yes. 